everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a really cute plant pot holder like this one. It's super easy to make and perfect for beginners wanting to get into air dry clay. So we're going to get straight into it now. The brand of clay that I'm using today is Scola and it is nylon reinforced clay and I'm going to use this little wire cutter to help me take some of that clay out of the bag. It just cuts right through nice and easily and then I can take slabs off of my clay. Now as you can see on this wire cutter there are some fibres that have pulled off from my clay. Now these don't show through when you're actually working in the clay, however they have pulled out whilst I was cutting it. So I didn't notice any of these fibres whilst I was actually working with the clay. Now I'm going to roll out my clay in order to create the bunny ears first for my project and my clay is going to be rolled out to around a centimetre in thickness. I'm freehanding my bunny ears, however if you wanted to cut out yours on paper first, you could then cut out around those to ensure that they're both exactly the same size. However, I felt confident enough just cutting mine out with a knife. I'm then going to peel away any excess of my clay and I'm going to be placing my bunny ears to one side to keep them safe. As you'll be able to see the thickness of my bunny ears is roughly the same as my little finger and later on in the project when I attach these I will smooth the ears out so they look a little bit more natural and not so bulky. I can then start working on the main part of my pot, so the side walls of my pot and again I'm working at that clay out to around a centimetre in thickness as a minimum. And the height of my clay pot is going to be around 11.5 to 12 centimetres tall. So as you can see here that clay is fairly thick at the moment but it will then be um, smoothed out. I'm attaching a little bit of clay to my sides just because I didn't have quite enough for the size of the pot that I was making and I'm using a clay slip that I had made. If you're interested in seeing a video on how to make air dry clay slip please do let me know in the comments so I can make that video for you. So in order to attach my clay together, I have scored along at the sides by just um, creating a little dash along there and then I attach or smooth some of my slip along there and then I really work and smooth out all of my creases in my clay to really make sure those two pieces of clay are attached and then I just double check to make sure that the size of my clay is accurate. I can then work on the base of my clay pot and I place my sides on there just to make sure that the base is going to be big enough and I cut around the sides. I then thought I wanted to create some feet for this, my pot, I thought that this would look really nice on my pot and I used that scoring and slip and smooth method again. So as you can see, I really do work the clay into one another. This is going to ensure that everything, once it's dry, is going to be securely in place. And then I score around the base of my pot here, along those sides, and then apply some more slip. The slip acts as kind of like a glue for your clay and then I smooth those two sections out together. I actually then removed the feet from my clay pot because they were just too heavy. This clay is really quite um, soft and malleable so I found that it was sinking a little bit. I then take some coils of my clay and work that along the pot around the bottom just to make sure it's nice and secure and both sides of my clay are smoothed out. Once I've done this, I use a really damp sponge to remove any little bumps on the outside 
and then I start working and creating those bunny ears to attach those. So I have scored along my bunny ears and then I'm scoring along the side of my pot and I'm going to attach those. So again, same method, really smoothing everything out to attach them to make sure both parts of my clay are nicely attached and become one piece. And then as you can see, I've started to smooth out the sides of my bunny ears so they're no longer really thick and bulky. They are now smooth and a little bit more realistic. And for this, I just pinch the sides and then work over with my damp sponge. And then when I'm ready, I can then use my damp sponge to smooth out any areas within the inside of my pot and along the edges of my pot. I really recommend doing this. You can use a damp sponge or a piece of kitchen towel, anything that you've got to smooth this out. I then start working on creating some facial features on my pot and I use two little rolled out pieces of clay and then smooth those out onto my pot. If I had just left them and attached them without smoothing them, they would fall off once the pot is actually dry. And then again, I smooth everything out with my sponge. I then let this dry for a couple of days before painting it and I painted it with a very light watered down wash of acrylic paint and I gave it two coats in total. And once it's fully dry and painted, I then add this Halfords clear lacquer to my pot and I spray from 30 centimeters in distance, let it dry for 15 minutes before adding a second coat. It's also really important that you make sure your room is properly ventilated for your lacquer. Okay, so there you have it. That was my really easy plant pot for beginners. And I had a lot of fun making this one. I definitely want to improve my skills because there's room for improvement within my pot. However, I did have a lot of fun making this. If you have a go at making this one, make sure you tag me on your Instagram post so I can see how you got on. And if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.